Hi, this is Diane. I thought I would show you what I've gotten done so far, or at least part of what I've gotten done in the Smashbook that I'm using. This is one that I made, and I showed it to you after it was made uh, empty. So I'm just going to go through and see what I've got put in it so far. It's not finished. It's getting pretty full. I'm getting near the end. So let's see if I can get halfway through it, and then maybe when I finish it, I'll do the other half. Um, this envelope I had put on the front, and the first thing we did, exciting thing that I got to do, was go to New York City with my daughter to see a Billy Joel concert. So I have some New York postcards in here. We live in northeast Pennsylvania, and we're about four to five hours from New York City, but uh, we don't go <laughs> very, very rarely. We've gone a few times. And I just had a journaling card in there. This is my Metro um, paper that I picked up. And then another postcard. No, this is a photo. I took this photo. And then I put, it looks like a postcard because I put this little clear sticker on it that says Times Square. And a picture of me standing in front of Saks Fifth Avenue, or actually across the street from it. And there's our Metro ticket. And just some stickers that I had purchased to add to decorate. We actually stayed in a suburb and then took the train in so we didn't have to drive in the city. We went to FAO Schwartz and you know that movie Big, the Tom Hanks movie Big and he gets his fortune told by Zoltar um, by the machine. Well they have one of those at FAO Schwartz. So my daughter and I both put our money in and got our our fortunes and then I just put our my my ticket up there, my tag from it. And here's um, FAO Schwartz, FAO Sweets bag. They have a whole room full of candy and, and bulk candy and things. So that's a bag from that. Oh, here's a picture of the Zoltar guy and me getting my fortune told. <clears throat> and then we went to um, Madison Square Gardens. And this is actually a bag I had purchased um, the program for the concert. And it's it's not really a program. It's just made basically pictures, lots of pictures of Billy Joel and his band. And this is the bag that it came in. So I added that in. But here's the man himself playing his piano and singing for us. This star is a Hard Rock Cafe Billy Joel star and it was actually in Niagara Falls when my husband and I went there and I knew we were going to New York City to see him. I'm sorry I keep bumping my camera. So I took that picture and then I added it in here and then used the back as journaling. Here's my concert ticket and another picture of the stage with Billy Joel right there playing his piano. Concert was so good. And then my uh, family reunion. My mom and her aunt and this was the page that had two diagonal pockets here. So there's lots of just little tidbits added on there to decorate. One of the My Mind's Eye cards that I wrote on, Place to Remember, it says. And these are just some tickets. You'll see them throughout the book of Magic Kingdom tickets. It was a book of tickets that my daughter brought me when she went to Walt Disney World last year, or two years ago. I haven't used them at all. There's for, you can journal on the back of them, but I just stuck them throughout the book because I wanted to have, have them in here. And more pictures from the reunion and decorated up and journaled on. And then we went to Maryland when my nephew got married. So here's his save the date card and the invitation here. And this little bag, it's a little, it's kind of like burlap, but not that rough. It's a little drawstring bag that had, uh, I think, Jordan almonds in it. So I glued that on there. That was at the reception, of course. And then I had this envelope in, bound into my book, and I used this to put on my little place cards, and I could write inside the place cards. And the hotel we stayed at had the little restaurant there. It was called the Bistro, so I just glued those little stickers on there and put this bag here of, I think this was a chocolate muffin that I bought. So I saved the bag and glued it there. And this was the envelope that had our room key in it. So I just put a little tag in there. <coughs> this is a napkin from the reception 
And then I, whoops, I didn't journal yet, but I will. I have to, have to add some journaling to that. And then on the bistro bag, I put on some pictures that I had printed of the wedding. And I glued it so that only this top portion is open. The rest is, it's sealed shut. So that the photos don't sink down all the way. And I put in the thank you note they sent us after the wedding. And then put in some wedding photos in here. That was a really fun, fun time going to Maryland to do that. It was a great wedding. My daughter, my granddaughter's baptism. And I went to our local theater all by myself to see the 100-foot journey. Because I love Helen Mirren and I just thought it looked like a good movie. And it was a good movie. I enjoyed it. And then I just decorated it all up. Here's my granddaughter playing soccer. So there's only one photo on this page with lots of decorations and a journaling card there. And then I went to a ladies conference type of thing called Ladies Advance in New York State. And there's a picture of us at our hotel, a bunch of the ladies that went. Here's a picture of our speaker and just a lot of decorations. I had already put this pocket on here and I Put this um, Seven Gypsies ticket on there. It says become, and I thought that would that was appropriate because, as I learn things from the Bible, it's supposed to help me become what I'm supposed to be. And then I have some journaling tags in here to write all about it. And this was the little brochure that we had. Put that back in later. And then for fall, my favorite season, I have a picture of my husband helping our grandson um, use the apple peeler core slicer, the Pampered Chef tool that's very handy when I want to make apple pies. And the, the kids just love to crank that, but they can't hold it still. So Papa was holding it still for him. And this is just a Mary Englebright piece of art that I like, so I put that in there. And a picture of the kids watching the Halloween parade. The parades go right down past our house whenever they have a parade in town. So we just go out and stand on our sidewalk <laughs> and look at the parade. And then we went to the pumpkin farm. And that was a lot of fun. My grandson's there enjoying their lunch. Another Mary Englebright art there. I love Mary Englebright. Some little bits and pieces cut out of out of a Halloween scrapbook paper that I had left over. This was a folded over page. So I have a journaling spot there, another photo, uh, more Mary Englebright, and some more photos. Uh, this is just a napkin from our harvest dinner at church and some journaling, some um, Graphic 45 postage stamps. A couple of cards that I had received from people which I wanted to save. This page, I, these pages I haven't finished yet. Um, Mark Twain is a local celebrity around here. He, he, he wasn't born here, but he married, his wife is from Elmira, New York. And so he would vacation, he would spend summers in Elmira and he wrote a lot of books in Elmira because he had the peace and quiet there. He has a study, um, it's like an octagonal building that his father-in-law built for him and it's still in Elmira and it's still a place where people can go and see it. So anyway our, our local newspapers have stuff about Mark Twain quite often so these are just artwork from those newspapers and see that's a Mark Twain mustache on that balloon. <laughs> so I'm gonna get some Mark Twain quotes and and add them to these pages because I really do like Mark Twain. From our Thanksgiving, these are just some papers, scrapbook papers that I cut up and decorated with. It's my grandson standing next to the turkey before it was cut. And I haven't finished this page yet, but it's me and my granddaughters. So I just want to, it's not from Thanksgiving or anything. It's just a page I want to decorate, and I just haven't done it yet. There's a little pocket on this. So. This was what I did instead of a December daily. This was so much easier. I had these cards that I'd printed out from the internet, and they're numbered 1 through um, 31. 
So I glued them on there and then I used little punch outs of leftover paper from this collection of paper, K and Company paper, and I decorated with them and then I cut out some postage from Christmas cards that I received in the mail to also decorate. Then I just wrote a little bit about each day of the month of December on these cards. And so that was done. Four pages, my December daily was done. There was ec extra space here and I had stamped these journaling lines so I wrote about the gifts we received and over here I wrote who our guests were for dinner and what we had on the menu. There's some more Christmas postage here and some Christmas washi tape. And it went up to New Year's Eve, of course. And then Christmas pictures and these tags um, were off the gifts that my daughter, this was off a Christmas card, I believe. And these tags came off of the gifts that my daughter gave the kids. And I just liked the tags, so she let me have them. Uh, this is when they were actually helping me decorate the tree. This wasn't Christmas yet. And then this was Our Ladies tea that we have every year and I'm usually the MC for it but this year another lady helped me out with that would like to have somebody else do it um, in future years so I helped her um, get used to doing it maybe she'll do it by herself next year so that's me and that's her and these are old these are uh, scrapbook pieces that look like Polaroids so I just cut the pictures to fit that there's a pocket here I added to the page this wasn't a very Christmassy looking paper so I glued on some striped, candy striped paper to make it look more Christmassy, and then the pocket. And then our program and our invitation and things are in the pocket here. And I went to the Valley Chorus, which is our regional chorus that puts on concerts, and I have some friends in it. Um, so I went to hear their Christmas concert, and I just put the front of their program here. There's a little tiny Christmas card that I added as a pocket and some more of those Christmas tags, gift tags that my daughter used. I put on my uh, ticket for the concert on the back of that and then just journaled on the back of that one. And my granddaughter's, my youngest one's birthday is just before Christmas so we had a birthday party for her and I had these birthday stickers that Alette sent me from the Netherlands so I added those. They're kind of three-dimensional and there's a little sparkly party hat that I stuck on Layla's head there. There's a pocket here and I added some journaling tags here. This is a tag that has Layla's name in stickers and then the number four. This was a white foam sticker and I colored it blue. She turned four. And then one of our Christmas traditions is to watch the Muppet Christmas Carol. We've done that ever since the kids were little and my husband and I will we'll just do it by ourselves too. If the kids aren't available, we'll do it by ourselves. We love it. So actually, I took pictures of the TV screen <laughs> with one of the scenes here and decorated here with some Christmas tags. Um, this is a tag that said six things I and then it's blank. So I wrote six things I got for Christmas and pictures from Christmas Eve. This is a really cool Christmas card and my grandkids like to bake with me and here they are helping me bake cookies and so since this is about this card features baking in an oven and you're supposed to put a gift card in there but I just put a little tag in there that uh, journaled. Isn't that cute? So I thought that was cute to add in there. There's another journaling card. It just looks like a frame. So I cut a picture of my daughter and her kids there. More pictures of the kids. And then here was my big Christmas gift, a treadmill. I really wanted a treadmill, so that's what I got for Christmas. This was, Fozzie Bear was just a piece of, off the wrapping paper of one of my gifts. So I think that's where I'll end it. And the next time when I finish the book, I'll pick up where I left off. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my smash book and I hope that inspires you to do some smashing of your own. Have a great day.